come, quickly. So over here is Carla Nikita. Cole's coming on 12, a, a 12 year old leopard, male. And uh, Nikita's a female, she's just slightly younger. Um, they're black leopards, so it's the, the melanistic gene expressed. Not really black if you look at them. It's actually a kind of a, a brindle color. And if you catch them in the right light, you'll see their normal spotted pattern. Uh, are indigenous to South Africa, all the way up into Africa. Um, but a very different cat to work with. Uh, not like the hyenas. Hyenas have their own little complicated social hierarchy. Lions have a socialness, but are a lot easier to work with, a lot more friendly. Leopards are another beast. They are uh, antisocial, uh, solitary animals, and that's the way they like it. So, you know, when Cole comes up to you, it's really just for a quick um, scratch on the chin or on the head, maybe a food reward like these pilchards that he really loves. It's really about what he can get from you, uh, not the other way around. His relationship's pretty one-sided, pretty selfish, but they keep you on your toes. Leopards, for sure, you know, you, you, you let your guard down and it's uh, at your own peril. The thing that most people don't really get is the power to weight ratio of a leopard. So a lot of people will look at Cole and go, ah, oh, but he's a lot smaller than I thought a leopard would be. You don't want to mess with this machine. He's extremely powerful. He can take prey up a tree in his jaws, literally half his own body weight. see a 50 kilogram leopard drag a 60 kilogram antelope up a tree in its mouth, you realize how strong that animal is. A lion could not do the equivalent, and certainly a hyena doesn't have the climbing skills. So to witness it is, is really incredible. When you see the, the kinetic energy released, I mean, it's just incredible to see him move from a complete standstill to you know, 50 meters in, in, in a split second. You're dealing with a formidable predator. It's evolved over time to be just that. A very successful predator um, throughout Africa. Uh, in fact, one of the few big cat species in, in Africa that is still free, truly free roaming. Even around these parts, you're still getting leopard able to co-adapt or coexist with human beings. You know, I always say if you scaled this up to the size of a lion, ooh, wouldn't want to go near that animal. So as you can see, this enclosure really does have some nice little areas for the leopards to hide. This is one of their favorite trees. Um, they often climb up this tree and spend lazy afternoons hanging over those branches. There it goes to show that they don't really have to or like to eat their food in a tree if they don't have to. Well, it's interesting in captivity, um, you always face the dilemma of an animal staying on its own as it would in the wild, or does it have companionship? Due to the fact that it is an unnatural environment, we've found over the years that having companionship is important. And it's in fact more important than them being on their own. Uh, within a, a territory, as this is, a little an enclosure, they do tend to spend time apart most of the time, and they do come together when, when they want to. So it's a good, it's a good situation. Um, it's a male and a female, which makes it a little bit easier. But it's not typical of the wild. This is not the, the situation. They would come together to mate and then part. And he would carry on patrolling his territory and she would then have her cubs raise them up to a certain age and then say goodbye. And like that, one day it's that light switch moment where she says, you're on your own. And off she goes being solitary again. So very interesting animal, um, you know, again, not much known about them really intimately um, because they are so secretive. So then, you know, we always say when you're going in the bush, uh, leopards only appear when they want you to see them. If they don't want you to see them, you don't see them. You can literally drive past a leopard five meters away and not see it.